Anyway, failure at being a functioning human being aside, uh, maybe we should play the Blackwell Legacy. I forget who gifted this to me. Somebody did. And I feel like a jerk now because I don't remember who it was. I hope it wasn't Cowman because he gives me a lot of games. <laughs> well, this guy Crash, he gives me games too sometimes. But yeah, I'm sorry that I don't remember who gave this to me. In-game instructions, sure. I write. I can only put their name up in post if I remember who the hell they are, though. So, I guess this is it. Years of watching and waiting and hoping, and it comes down to this. Do I love you? Do I miss you? I don't know for sure. I hardly know you. But you're the closest thing to family I've got, and I suppose that's something. Goodbye, Auntie. Wherever you are. It's weird that her portrait disappears so often. Doof, 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 doof. This came out in like the 2000s, right? Tom Scary, I like that name. <laughs> Like Richard Scary, but actually spelled like the word scary. What a morning. At least I'm home now. Uh huh. Click on objects to interact with them. So. Sick teen. Stop loitering. Hi there. Um, hi? So who are you visiting today? Yo, yo kid, what you doing here? What are you talking about? Seriously, who are you here to see? Can't let you in unless you tell me. Um, I live here? No, you don't. I know everybody in the building. I don't know you. The <laughs> Really? I live here. Nice try. I know everyone in this building, and I don't know ya. Sorry. I don't know I've ya! Here for five years. Then how come I've never seen you before? I have no idea. Doesn't matter. If you lived here, I'd know you. That's all there is to it. I've never seen you before, right? I like how his cigarette is in a constant state of just being smoking in that direction and not moving. Who the hell are you? Jim Birdo. <laughs> All right, Jim. Nice Where's name, the Jim. Doorman? Jeez, where have you been? He's on strike. He's what? Strike. All the building servicemen in the city are doing it. Union rules or something. I stepped in to help because I know everybody. How come nobody told me? Notices were posted all over the building. I put them up myself. If you lived here, you'd have seen him. Who pays attention to things like that? Well, it's <laughs> not my problem. I don't want to give him my address, because what if he's a what if he's a spooky man? How long is the strike going to last? I don't know. Could be a couple hours or a couple days, depending on whether they reach a settlement or not. I don't know the details. <laughs> Please, I've had a really tough morning. I need to get home. Sorry, lady. Rules are rules. What am I gonna do? Case the joint? Listen, I really live here. Fourth floor, number 4E. 4E? Hmm. Isn't that apartment empty? No! I live there, and I want to go there. Thank you very much. Oh. Hmm. Maybe you're telling the truth. He sees reason. Thank God. <laughs> you have any ID? A driver's license or something? Yes. I have a driver's license. It's upstairs. In my desk drawer. Crap. <laughs> Come on, this is New York. Who actually drives? <laughs> True. But I still can't let you in unless you prove you live here. Fuck you, buddy! But it's like, what would my license... How do I even prove... 
Uh, what do I have on me that would prove- Yeah, like, I have a key. Follow me up and watch me go into my apartment and then probably beat the shit out of me and take all my stuff. I have my apartment key. Will that do? Sorry, no. That could be any key. <laughs> well, let's go upstairs and if see- If you live in the building, building, wouldn't you know what the keys look like? Attended? Can't do it. Sorry. Oh my god. This guy is like the biggest wiener. I'm not, I'm gonna threaten violence like last last thing because it's not like I'm wolf cop or something. Okay, I have no ID and you don't know me. What can I do to prove that I live here? Hmm. Well, can anyone in the building vouch for you? I'm not sure. I mean, I don't really know anybody here. How long have you lived here again? Be quiet. Not all of us are social butterflies. Okay, whatever. Hey, what about Nishanti Sharma? He could vouch for you. Who is this Nis... Uh, Nish... Nishanti. Nishanti Sharma. He lives in 4F. You know, right next door to 4E. How do you really know all this shit? <laughs> Your point? Nothing, but I'm sure she could vouch for you. Great, call her up. She's not here. Of course she isn't. So I gotta wait here all day for her. You might have to. Although, she usually goes to Washington Square Park in the mornings. You could look for her there. Restate the obvious. So, let me get this straight. You want me to go all the way to the park to look for a woman who might be there, and if she recognizes me, then, and only then, I'll be granted the privilege of entering my own home? That's pretty much it. Call yeah. cops. This is really stupid. I'm not the one who forgot my ID. <laughs> Fine. I don't think threatening him is going to get me anywhere anyway, so whatever. Let's go find this I'll lady. I'll be back. See you around. What a wiener. Top of the screen. Ro Rosangela, that's a strange name. Oh, right click. Oh my god, she's been in the hospital for 25 years? That's a big bill. <laughs> Alright, how do I leave the thing? Escape? It's not escape. Spacebar. Enter key. Shift. Tab. Control. Alt. Q W E R T Y U I O P A D S D F G H G K L No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, F5. How I exit letter. <laughs> I have right and left clicked. F5, okay, F5. Oh! Wait, that doesn't help me. Top of the screen! Top of the st uh oh. No, please let me out of the letter. This is all I want. Um. F6, F7. F8, F9. Oh. <laughs> F9 resets the game. Click on the edge, mist rules? <laughs> you think I've played mist. That's adorable. <laughs> okay. Literally? Why would I know that? I've like never played like mist. <laughs> There was no indication to do such things. I dark side filled that. <laughs> oh man, it's like Phantasmagoria 2. Except not, uh... Where did that game take place? It's California somewhere. Washington Square. It's been a while since I've been here. Still looks the same, I guess. Although the dog park is empty, I wonder why. 
All the dogs are dead. Dogs don't exist in this world. Please note, Dog Walking Park is closed until further notice. Hmm. Hmm. The dog park is empty. There's hmm. no reason to go in there. If there are dogs in there, I guess I would go in there. Hmm. <laughs> now I'm getting a stress headache. I need to get home. Oh. I... Okay. Well, I'm trying to get home anyway, lady. Hey, dog. It's cracking. I don't think so. <laughs> That's her. I don't I think so either. My building. Nishanti Sharma, was it? This is gonna be awkward. So... Uh, excuse... I can't do it. I can't just barge up to her. Not in front of all those people. They're all staring. <laughs> dog, help I me. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm not untying the dog's leash. Nishanti would kill me. <laughs> no! Nothing else on the side here. Is that like a boxer or something? I'm not an- Shush. This guy looks like Spock from behind. <laughs> Come with me, dog. Mm-hmm. Let's go to the hospital. I don't have anyone to call. Call Nishanti. Tell her stop playing the thing. I'm not stealing stuff from the hospital. <laughs> I didn't say steal it. I meant to look at it. <laughs> steal it with your eyes. I don't think so. <laughs> She doesn't think so about a lot of things. Why is she so blurry right now compared to him? That's strange. I'm not stealing stuff from the hospital. I don't think I need any of these keys. Not yet, but you're an adventure game. Who knows when you'll need them? I'm here to see Dr. Quentin. Uh huh. Is he <laughs> expecting you? That guy's face. I've got this letter right here. Okay. Looks legit. Go right in. Well, His legit. name's on the door, you can't miss it. Thanks. Whoosh. Come in. Hey, doctor, how do I distract Dr. Nishanti? Nishanti. Yes. Nishanti? I'm Rose Angela Blackwell. Oh, hello. Come in, come in. You got my letter, I trust? Yes, I did. Good, good. My condolences on the loss of your mother. Oh, polite correction. Thanks, but she was my aunt, not my mother. Ah, quite right, quite right. So you wanted to talk quite to me right. about something? Yes, yes I did. But before we go into that, how are you holding up? Hmm. <laughs> I don't care. I'll Just complain. having a really bad morning. Oh? It's... I'll get over it. Just some stuff I have to deal with. You received the ashes? Yes. I scattered them this morning. I imagine you must miss her. To be honest, I'm not sure what to feel. It's not like I knew her. Or even remember her from... before. She's like a stranger. So why did you make it a point of visiting her all those years? None of your business! <laughs> I don't know. Habit, I guess. It was a place to go every week. And now that you don't have to? What do you want me to say? Auntie's dead. Life goes on. So you'll just keep living, is that it? Yes. Keep writing yes. little book reviews in the paper, right? You know about those? It's hardly a secret. A number of the staff have read them, yes. I didn't think a West Village paper would interest anyone up here. I have to be honest, Miss Blackwell. The staff read them because they were more interested in you. Um, man, that clock ticks real fast. 
Oh? Their intentions were purely benign, I assure you. It was your aunt they were primarily interested in. So why were they primarily interested in me? Family, <laughs> and you proved to be, hmm, shall we say, less than eager to comply? That's their problem. Indeed. It was your choice to make. Your aunt was an interesting case. And now that she's gone, I was hoping you'd be more forthcoming with me. Just an informal chat. We can discuss her condition. And yours too, of course. You never could find out what was wrong with her, huh? No, we didn't. But she still remains a fascinating case. Fascinating? I don't understand. Forgive me. I speak from a purely professional perspective. I didn't know your mm -hmm. aunt personally. Neither did I. But fascinating? It might come as a surprise to you, but yes. But she was practically catatonic. All she did was lie there for 20 years. She'd sometimes twitch or mumble something incoherent, but I wouldn't call that fascinating. Well, as you know, she wasn't exactly catatonic. We kept her sedated. Right. She had outbursts. Yes, and we had to sedate her heavily to keep her calm, especially in preparation for your visits. What are you trying to say? Miss Blackwell... We are not a nursing home. We're not content to merely keep a patient comfortable. We are, after all, in the healing profession. So why'd you keep it for 25 we're years? to heal your aunt. And to do that, we had to speak to her. Wait, you spoke to auntie? We tried to. Did she answer back? After a fashion, yes. And the audio is kind of weird. Like, the, the quality of their audio is weird. Like, there's a lot of popped peas and stuff like that. If Auntie spoke, why wasn't I told? Miss Blackwell, do you remember what brought your aunt here in the first place? Her screaming? Her hitting herself? I was only five years old at the time, but I kind of remember. In order to prevent her from doing harm to herself or to others, we were forced to sedate her. When we limited her medication, she simply reverted to her former state. Her natural state, I'm sorry to add. What did Auntie say? Nothing that made any sense. But one thing was clear. She was in great pain. Pain? What kind of pain? It's difficult to say, but it was immense. How immense? When Very bigly immense. The transformation was dramatic. Her eyes flew open. She thrashed. Her screams. Well, we had to gag her eventually. My God. I know. Did she still feel it? When she was sedated? We don't know. There's no way of knowing. 25 years. I know. Poor auntie. I also wish there were more pauses between it. 25 years. I know. Poor auntie. Wait. What do you mean by my condition? Hereditary dementia is my specialty, Miss Blackwell. And in my opinion, there is significant cause for concern. Sorry. Did you say hereditary? Yes. Two generations. Your aunt and your grandmother before her. My grandmother? Yes. Patricia, I think her name was, right? I never knew my grandmother. Auntie Lauren was it. There was nobody else. She couldn't exactly provide me with the family history. Oh, I see. I had no idea. Well, maybe you should have. Yeah, Did you're a doctor. to visit her <laughs> besides me? No, you are correct. I should have read the family history more carefully. Yeah, right. I do apologize. I just assumed... Well, never mind. It doesn't change the fact that you should be concerned as well. Go on. Patricia Blackwell suffered her mental collapse at the age of 55. Lauren Blackwell underwent hers at the age of 40. So you what should you be saying? any second the now. the same thing is going to happen to me? No. I'm saying that there is significant cause for concern. So, I had a grandmother. Apparently so. How do you know about her? It was in your aunt's case history when she was brought to us. Patricia Blackwell's symptoms were the same word for word. Well, everybody has Patricia's a grandmother. Case was severe, and she was young, but it was chalked up to being an ordinary case of dementia. Until... Until it struck her daughter. Until 20 years later, when it struck her daughter, yes. It seems impossible. Perhaps it's genetic, but we've detected no abnormality. <laughs> so what should I do? Right now? Nothing. This type of thing is unprecedented. There is no procedure to go through, no medication I can give you. I just want you to be aware, is all. And come talk to me if, well, 
there's any concern. If... Talk to me if... You couldn't find any other link between the two cases? <clears throat> None, aside from the family connection. And uh, a name. A name? What name? The documentation we had on your grandmother is minimal, but there was one interesting item noted. During her more lucid moments, she uttered the name Joey. Your aunt, too, would cry out that name on occasion. Joey? Yes. Who's Joey? We've been wondering the same thing for 25 years. Well, okay, bye. Is there anything else you need to tell me before I go? Your aunt had some personal effects in storage. <clears throat> As the next of kin, you're the beneficiary. It's just a folder, some documents and so on. It's being sent to your address via messenger. Oh, well, thanks for that. It's no problem at all. Goodbye, Miss Blackwell. My schedule is fairly open now, so feel free to drop in any time. I'm always happy to discuss my favorite patient. Sure. <laughs> my favorite patient that was comatose for years and did nothing. My favorite. The best patient. Give me those keys for no reason. I don't think I need any of these keys. I just want to keep them for later. Did you have contact with Lauren Blackwell while she was here? Nope. Doesn't ring a bell. The guy looks like Smash Mouth. She was in uh, temporary care? Key. No, she was in long term. That's a whole different floor. This is the floor for temp patients. I see. <laughs> this guy's accent is like kind of halfway between New York and Boston. So what exactly happens here on the temporary ward? It's just that. Temporary. Most insurance plans only cover a two-week stay, so this floor is designed for a high turnover rate. That's why the doctor's offices are usually down here. They need to be on hand when new patients arrive. It would be on hand, not on. What's with the lights? Hey, old buildings, you know? Always got problems. If the plumbing ain't broken, the lights are on the blink. It's giving me a headache, let me tell you. Thanks. Uh-huh. Hey, you know, creepy psychiatric place, you know, bada bing. Spooky. Locked. Whatever's back there, I can't get to it. Break the fuse box. You need a key to open it. Get a key for the fuse box. I don't know. We're pointing and we're clicking. Hey, I don't think I need any of these keys. Hey, Gabagool, give me these keys. I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> A radio? I don't think so. I don't think so about any radios. Alright, I learned nothing about how to get in touch with this lady. Over here, so it must be something in here that helps me... Helps me out. Please note. Hmm. Yep. There's nothing else to click on this screen. So she's on the screen with the dog. I don't think so. She doesn't think so about the dog. Dog likes to follow me. I'm not cute. untying the dog's leash. Nishanti would kill me. <laughs> you don't even know her, man. How do you know? All right. Here I go. Um. Um. Uh. No. <laughs> Okay, that didn't go so well. Oh my god, this I is just like... need to work myself up to it. Yeah, this is like a non puzzle. Okay, you can do this. Just do it. Right. Um. Crap. Try Calm again. Down. Try again, right. honey. This is it. Hi. Um. Can I. Damn it. This is not working. I can't do this. I just can't. No. No. I can't do this. I just can't. I'll just have to wait until she's finished. Or, I don't know. I can't do this with all those people staring at me. It's New York. Everyone's gonna forget about you in five fucking minutes. <laughs> I don't think so. Do you think so about the trash can? I'm not untying the dog's leash. Nishanti would kill me. So I can't continue to go this way. This is as far as I can go to the right. 
I can't kill all the people and take their eyes. <laughs> Nothing. I'm not holding anything. Nothing else for me to click. The dog follows me, but I don't want to do anything with the dog. There's no exit towards the top of the screen. Oh, there you go. Oh, for heaven's sake. Don't worry, Moti. I'm coming. I, f I did it. <laughs> there, all better. Hi, I tricked I your dog so I can talk anywhere, to you. Can I? Oh, it's you. The lady next door. Yeah. Hi. Rhonda, isn't it? No, Rosangela. Well, Rosangela. Well. I hope my friend here hasn't been giving you any trouble. Hmm. Let's just explain he it. He started following me. I'm not sure why. That's because he recognizes you. Dog He's can just vouch being for me. Friendly, right, Moti? Just being friendly, hmm? See? Right. Anyway, yeah. I don't think we've formally met. I'm Nishanti. Rosangela. So you said. Oh, right. Um. Yes? I have a strange favor to ask. Go ahead and ask. What are neighbors for? You know that building servicemen strike? Yes. Jim Birdo is covering, isn't he? <laughs> Jim Birdo. Yeah, that's the problem. Jim state. Birdo, eh? Hey. He doesn't recognize me. Oh? Mamma mia, oh. Jim Birdo. So you need me to vouch for you? Yeah, I know this is pretty stupid. Don't worry about it. Moti is getting a little cranky anyway. Let's get you home. Thanks. Are you alright? I'm fine. I just need to get home. Mm. Right. Let's keep walking. Mm. <laughs> hey, asshole, let me in. Hello, Jim. Hey, Miss Sharma. Jim, this is Rose Angela. She lives here. He does? Okay. Sorry about earlier. Had to be sure. <laughs> sure about what? Eh. Syrupy sweet response. Oh, it was no problem at all. Do you want anything else? Milk or orange juice, perhaps? Um. <laughs> Never mind. Just get out of my way. <laughs> Sass. Well, here we are. Yes. Finally. That stupid kid. Well, perhaps. But try not to be so hard on him. We're all neighbors after all. Yeah, I guess. <coughs> Looks like somebody's hungry. I'd best get this spoiled puppy fed. Feel free to drop in any time you want. Okay. Really? Yes, really. Yes, really. I know we New Yorkers don't usually talk to our neighbors, but who cares? The city can be a lonely place, especially when you live alone. I've got Moti. Who do you have? Oh, I have three great roommates. Oh? Yes, um, their names are me, myself, and I. That's a bad joke. Um, it's a joke. Yeah, I get it. Oh, uh, actually, exciting. don't stop in later. Uh, um, your episode in the park tells me otherwise. And your eyes. Well, let's just say the offer stands. Sure. You go home now. We'll see each other soon, Rosangela, I'm sure. Rosangela. Hey. Yes? Um, you can call me Rosa, if you like. Rosangela is kind of a mouthful, you know. All right, Rosa. You have a good day now. What a strange lady. She seemed pretty normal, honestly. <laughs> Bet there's a puzzle with the fire extinguisher. <laughs> Home. Thank God. <laughs> I've never been so happy to see a 500 square foot room in my life. I don't need to take the trash out, it's not even full. Um, it looks pretty full to me. <sighs> I am just feeling so uninspired today. Maybe tomorrow I'll fill up to it. But today, it's just not happening. Feel you, girl.
I'm not up for watching a movie. Besides, I've seen all of them a dozen times. I suppose I should trim this plant. Maybe one day. Griff is fine where he is. Griff. Nice lava lamp. I don't need to touch it. I know these plants are fake. There's nothing in these cabinets I want right now. Mm -hmm. There's nothing in... Cook. Why bother when every Chinese restaurant in the area delivers? Because it's cheaper than getting Chinese food. And it's good to learn how to cook for yourself, girl. I'm not ready for bed. Well, then I guess I don't want to do fucking anything. <laughs> Looks like it's from Bellevue. Bong, 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 bong. Wow. <laughs> NYU. <laughs> Over. <laughs> Oh my god, there's 25 things to read. Holy fucking shit. There's a lot of shit. <clears throat> this font is harder to read because it's all pixely. Where, well, not we. Our aunt is a big city girl. I hate saying it, aunt. Ugh. Our aunt is a big city girl. Aunt. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Mom's been acting weird. That's the dementia. I am fine. She's getting worse. <laughs> Not normal at all. We're scared. Talking to talking to Joey. She's been committed. Mom had has problems. She got messed up. She messed up other people. It was scary. Can I come visit you? Congratulations. I, uh, my aunt graduated. <clears throat> oh, Jackson Love, lady from Stats from Italy. Change the lock. Well, oh, so mom, mom is now that mom is gone. We're getting our aunt is getting spooked by Joey or something. For God's sake, talk to me. Hiring a private detective to follow you around. Please stay away, don't worry about me. I'm the only one who can do stuff. 
can't explain. Mom wasn't crazy, she was just getting trolled by some fucking ghost named Joey. Maria and I are getting married. You're coming. No dumb excuses. They're going to Greece for their honeymoon. There are some pictures stuck to the back of this letter. Ah! <laughs> uh, Rosangela. That's why I've got a weird Italian name. That explains it. Take custody of your niece with the death of her parents. Oh. So my parents all all croaked. Where were the pictures on the back? Are they in my inventory? <laughs> this is Snake. Hello? Rosangelina, hi. Hi, Bob. Thanks so much for submitting your last review on time. For once. Yeah. I've got a little assignment for you today. Assignment? Human interest, Blackwell. Suicide. College girl named Joanne Sherman. That's awful, but... You know the Brittany house, the NYU dorm? Yes, but... Speak to some people on her floor. Get a word in with the roommate. Listen. Speak to the RA, too, and hey, see if you can score a picture of the girl. But I don't do that stuff. I write book reviews. Versatility. Time to get out of your comfort zone. Jeremy's over at City Hall covering that strike, so you are it. Get cracking. Let's take advantage of this so much. situation. Is freelancing for that stupid paper even worth it? Well, I guess it keeps me writing, but... Oh, whatever. I'll just go over there and get it done. It's not like I don't have enough death in my life right now. Maybe this isn't a bad thing. It's like being a real reporter. Sort of. But you don't want to be a reporter. My old notepad should come in handy for this. No, I want to look at the, the, the picture. I can use her notebook. Alright. Oh my god. Mother? Father? Auntie Lauren? I don't want to ruin the picture. What? I don't want to ruin the picture. I thought she'd have comments about it. I don't want to ruin the picture. <laughs> well, it looks like they had a cheesecake for their wedding. <laughs> No, no comments on, on this shit, either. Okay. Is there anything cool on TV? It's a photograph of Auntie Lauren and me. At the pier again. Alright, I guess we'll leave. What am I right clicking? <laughs> What are you guys on about with this right click situation? I assume that's my mother. Oh my god. She sort of looks like me, I guess. Why would that Other be the right that, click? She's a total stranger. Why why would <sighs> Everything else is left click. Is that my dad? He looks so young. I always pictured my dad as being older. That's definitely Auntie Lauren. She's looking at something off camera. I wonder what it was. Probably Joey Joe. Can't, still can't click anything here. Left to use, right click to look. Okay. I am a huge newbie with adventure games. I have not played very many at, at all. I've watched other people play. Harvester, Phantasmagoria, stuff like that, so 
when you're watching somebody else play and helping them with the puzzles, you don't really pay attention to what you're clicking, what they're clicking. No reason to bother Nishanti, I guess. Ugh. I feel like hell and I have to interview college kids. Hopefully this won't take too long. This music. <laughs> I'm not stealing stuff from college kids. Sorry, let's read it. Just a bunch of notices. Guitar lessons, study groups, stuff like that. Doof! There's nobody home. Hmm? <laughs> Hi, I'm Rose Angela Blackwell. Can I help you? Perhaps. Could I ask you a few questions? Oh, this is about Joanne, isn't it? You know her? Well, I am the RA for this floor. I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't know everybody. The campus police found her around 5 a.m. this morning. Can you tell me about her? Hmm. Well, all right. But could you leave my name out of it? That shouldn't be a problem. Good. Joanne's parents have already asked the dean to fire me. I don't need anyone else knowing who I am. What do you want to know? <laughs> Great. <laughs> What in the world does this mean? Whoop, that's what happened right there. <laughs> An exception occurred in that garbage. Uh, the exception is fatal. And I haven't saved at all. Now that I think about it. Pretty cool beans! <laughs> oh, great. Really cool. Let's let's restart that game. <laughs> At least we know what to do and it'll probably go really quick. Just like skim through everything, you know? <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, how I exit letter. The old days. Oh, uh, okay. I don't even think we need to talk to that one guy. Let's just go straight to Washington Square Park. Confuse the dog. Shush, 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 shush. Wait, there's auto saves? I don't think there are. Which mm. one was that? No, honey. What? No, wait, that is the wrong one. F's, different F's. Auto save. Uh, is that guy still there? Yeah, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Too late. Cause who who even knows Washington. when it's auto saving? I don't know when it's auto saving. We got literally mm. the worst adventure games. No, no argument here. Literally no argument here. Alright, come here. Come here, dog. This way. There you go. Oh, don't. You'll get no argument from me about how bad I am at adventure games! Because <laughs> I've only yeah. played, like, one. Oh, no, I, I think I played Monkey Islands, and I don't even think I beat it. I think I played that one myself. The other ones I've seen... I've seen get played, but I haven't played them. Are you all- I'm all- Uh, 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 go, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Where? Yeah, we but try. Yeah, I. <laughs> Looks like I feel. Really? Yeah, I just. Oh, uh, yes. Let's look um, at this bad joke again. Me, myself, and I. Grin. 
She looks um, like a Barbie doll when she did that. Well, she kind of looks like Ariel, actually, from hey. Little Mermaid. Yeah. Uh, you... All right. You... All right. <laughs> what a. Oh, Ariel. Oh, boom, home. Boom, 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 boom. I've never. Ugh. <laughs> Hello. This is Dr. Quentin from Belgium. Uh, yes. I was your aunt's pre- Did you receive my- Yes, I received it. I haven't had- That's alright. I'm sure you- However, should you find- I- Thank you. If I don't visit- I suppose- That's right. I guess I have to do that or else this mail won't come at all. <laughs> Couldn't sequence break that. Could not sequence break that. Boop. I'm here to- uh, I go right- Th Thanks! Yeah, I'm gonna save. Come in. Dr. Quinn, I'm right- oh. Yes, I- Good, Mike. Oh, what is the save button? Can I not do it in the middle of a conversation? Nah, the Fs don't work. Thanks. So, just it. Yeah. To be happy. Aunt. Yes. I did. Oh. They're in. It was. They were in. Your and now. And. <laughs> you never. I. But. Wait. After. Go. Wait. And sorry. My, I, she. I. I, I but no. I. If Aunt met her in but she put with her Zoom So So this and this and Alright. Is there anything Oh it's my I'm You're gonna go crazy, okay bye Pa 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 Okay <laughs> I guess it's saved as how do I exit a letter again? Whatever. <laughs> okay, here we go. Catching up a bit. There it is, already there. Looks. Zoom! You're gonna go crazy, girl! It sucks! Whoosh. Colonel. The snake. Hello? Rosangelina. List, but boop, 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 boop. Okay. I hate him. Here, sha, sha, ha, sha, ha. My old. Okay. Ah, uh, this is just a to do list, I suppose. Other, I don't want. Is that he? That's. She, oh. Make sure I get all the stuff. It, Auntie Lauren, she took care of me after my parents died. For most of my life, Auntie Lauren was a vegetable, slowly rotting away in a hospital. So bed. who took care I don't of you then? What she was like before that. This so who actually took to care of you? Who really took care of her? It's me. I look scared out of my mind. I don't remember when this picture was taken, but I look about four or five years old. Combine the clues. It's your clue list. Clue list. Not clue list. I don't need to bother. I don't. Okay. I'm gonna go to the dorms, and then I'm gonna save again, and see if that same thing happens. And if it does, whoops, I guess I play him, I'm playing something else. <laughs> Ugh. I f hope. Oh, okay. Dorm. Yeah, okay. Let's see what happens. Hmm? 
Hi, I'm Rosangela Blackwell with The Village Eye. Oh, this is about Joanne, isn't it? You know her? Well, I wouldn't be doing the campus. Can you tell? Hmm. Well, but could you leave? That shouldn't be a problem. Good. Joanne's parents have already asked the need to fire me. I don't need anyone else knowing who I am. What do you want to know? Okay, there you go. It didn't <laughs> crash that time. What can you tell me about Joanne? What was she like? I never hung out with her socially, but she socially nobody Ugh. ever complained about her. She always had friends around her. She never had any trouble, as far as I know. Her suicide came as a total surprise. Can you tell me anything about Joanne? She jumped off the roof. She died instantly. It was in the middle of the night. There was there was no way anybody could have stopped her. Make sure you print that. Would you have a picture of Joanne? A picture? No. Why would I? Just asking. So how did you get to be an RA of this floor? What do you mean? Well, it's a girl's floor and you, well... Aren't? Yes. Well, it's like this. Someone at the registrar thought Adrian was a girl's name. So here I am. None of the girls have complained? Not yet. They seem to prefer it. This sort of thing happens quite frequently. You'd be surprised. Could you tell me Well, as I said, I didn't know her socially, but she seemed nice enough. Nobody ever complained about her. She always had friends around her. She never had any trouble. Her... Can you tell She jumped. She died. It was in the... There were... Make sure... Alright, I thought maybe there would be a second... Well, that's all for now. Thing. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. Gadunk! <laughs> Slams the door in my face. I thought she was found in her room at 5 a.m. or something. There's nobody home. There's nobody home. Nobody. Ew, there's gum stuck to the faucet. I'm... It's a drinking fountain. It's a drinking fountain. Ugh. Don't you know what that is? Sup, cool girl? Hi, I'm Rosangela Blackwell. Am I supposed to know you? No, I'm with the Village Eye. The Village what? The <laughs> Village Eye. The newspaper. I've never heard of it. It doesn't matter. Well, what do you want then? I'd like to talk to you about your roommate, if that's all right. Jesus Christ. I'm busy with midterms. I told the campus police everything. Do you have to bother me? Look, so she killed herself. Big whoop. <laughs> Why is that my problem? I understand that this must be a difficult time for Hell you. Hell no, it's not. It's difficult? <laughs> Hell no. Oh my god, that's right. Good. You know how long I've been wanting my own room? You don't care? Not even a little bit? No, I don't. <laughs> why the hell should I? For that matter, why should you? For that matter. Okay. Will you please calm down? Whatever. Calm down? Who the hell do you think you are? Don't tell her to calm down. That's not what I meant. I just want to know a little bit about Joanne. Fine. You want to know about Joanne? She's dead. She couldn't take the pressure, so she jumped off the roof. Did Joanne act unusual before she died? Nope. Same old Joanne. Studied at her desk all day and slept all night, as usual. Quiet as a little mouse. Is there anything else you can tell me about Joanne? No. 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 Not at all. Do you have any thoughts on why Joanne would kill herself? Nope. Nope. Just another kid who couldn't hack it. Nope. Nope. No. No. Nope. Not me. Nope. Do you have a photograph of Joanne that we could use for the newspaper? Nope. You want a what? Just a photograph. You'll get it right back. Yeah, right. You think I'm giving you anything? Think again. Can you tell me anything about Adrian? The RA? He's okay. He helps us out when we need it, and keeps out of our way when we don't. It's the way it should be. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Why do you want to know? Just background info for the paper. I don't think so. Suit yourself. Joanne never had trouble sleeping. How would I know? You lived with her. Like I pay attention. <laughs> so Joanne was a good student. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Yeah, sure. You know.
Whatever. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> It would appear that Joanne was a pretty good student, or at least a hard-working one. Um... If I were planning to kill myself, would I sleep soundly at night? I don't know if I could. Joanne and Kelly were roommates at NYU. That's all I really know about them. This music is really intense. <laughs> Joanne seemed to be a hard-working student. Maybe the pressure got to her. I don't see what one has to do with the other. Uh. I don't see what... Kelly told me that Joanne slept soundly all night. Kelly told me that Joanne studied all day and nothing else. Do you think something is weird happening with the stream? I don't know. I'm not getting any frame drops, it looks like. Joanne already the did that. My boss asked me to find a photograph of Joanne to put it in the paper. Mm, all right. That makes no sense. <laughs> Maybe there's a connection, but I can't see it. Oh my goodness. If I were- I don't know if- I don't see what one- Which is the one I haven't done yet. <laughs> Adventure games! What's it called when you have a bunch of things and you just use them over and over again? Like a key ring or something? No, the thing told me I have enough to do something. There's nobody. The game was like, oh, she has enough shit that she can do something. And I went through a lot of them. Hmm? Hi, it's me again. You have more questions, I Gin. imagine? Yeah, is that okay? I suppose No! So. What do you want to know? No. Oh, okay. What can you tell me about Joanne's roommate? Kelly? Have you met her? Yes. Quite a sight, huh? But don't judge her by that. She's the sharpest kid you'll ever meet. She gets straight A's on everything. Really? Yep, she's pre-med. Do you know if Joanne had any trouble sleeping? I'm afraid I wouldn't. Why would he Her know that? Kelly never complained, but that's not surprising. Why is that? Well, Kelly rarely spent the night in her room. She only comes here to study, as far as I've seen. So how would you know how she slept? So yes. Was Joanne a good student? I don't think she had any problems, but of course, the pressure can get to anybody. Do you know where Kelly was sleeping? No, it's not my place to ask. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping. I'll out. bother you again Just when I get some more things in my notebook. Yeah. Yeah. My name is Bot. I'm busy. <laughs> so you've been sleeping somewhere else lately? Yeah, I've been at my boyfriend's. I've been at my boyfriend's. No, what do you care? No. Just confirming the information. Looks like Adrian's been talking. Been talking. Joanne never had trouble sleeping. How would I know? You lived with her. Like I. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Wait a minute. Something is afoot. Right. <laughs> Wait Kelly's a minute. Been spending her night somewhere else. How can she know if her roommate was sleeping well or not? Hmm. I think Kelly was lying to me. Kelly, I'm not telling you yet. Yeah? Why are you lying? Your RA told me that you haven't been sleeping in your dorm. Yeah, so? 
You told me that Joanne slept in her room every night. So? How would you know Joanne slept here if you've been sleeping somewhere else? Huh? Oh, well, I just assumed. Did you lie to me? I didn't lie. <laughs> I just... Oh, screw it. You want to talk? Fine. What do you want to know? So what was Joanne really like? To be honest, there's nothing to say. She was studying political science, which is kind of cool, I guess. But she was so vanilla. Vanilla? You know, sweet, but not much there. Just a typical <laughs> college kid. Acted just like everybody else. She seemed proud of it. Did Joanne act unusual before she died? Well, no. Although, the last few weeks, she's been talking in her sleep. What did she say? No idea. Couldn't understand her. She swore up and down that she wasn't doing it. She looked a bit scared, though. Scared? How so? Just scared. I didn't scared. even know, so I'd been sleeping at my boyfriend's place. So you weren't here when she... Killed herself? No, I wasn't here. N not that it would have made much of a difference. Are we done? I could really use a photo Give me a photo, lady. Hmm. Alright, just a sec. This was hers. It was on her desk. She won't be needing it anymore. Joanne's the girl on the left. Thanks. Cool. Got me a photo of this dead girl. I'm a good detective. That's why I turned on my space heater, because it's cold in here. <laughs> Can you tell me anything about Adrian? BRA? He's okay. He helps us out with the wait. Can you tell me why? Just- Oh, suit you. Alright. Thanks for helping. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, all right. Oops, I have no idea who Joanne is. Why would I know that's Joanne? According to Kelly, this girl on the left is Joanne. When did she tell me that? Did I miss that? I assume that this is a friend of Joanne, but I have no idea who she is. I assume that this is a friend of... Okie dokie. This music, it's like I'm in like a Borg cube or something. Mm -hmm. Hi, it's me again. You have more- Yeah. I said, what do you- They really thought you were- Yes. I thought maybe I could use the photo on him. Oh, that lady told me she was on the left. I was paying attention. Like I said, I'm tired. Well, that's all. Thanks for helping. Just remember. Um... Yeah, I guess I'm done. Ugh. This is getting worse. At least I have enough for the story now. I better get home. I should save. This is getting bad. This music. Oh my god. This really hurts. Sleep, that's all I need. I'll just type up the story and get to bed. Shouldn't take that long. Nope. 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 No. No mention of Joanne's suicide yet. If... No. 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 Right. No more interruptions. Done. Articles finished, picture is scanned, and I am done for the day. Ah! No. What's... I need fresh air. I've got to get out of here. Okay. Yeah, she doesn't have a scanner. I'm outside. <laughs> I'm on the streets. Um. I don't really know why I'm here.
Okay. Let's ask her maybe. Come in! Hello, Rosa. Come in, come in. Don't mind the pooch, he's harmless. There's some background noise on her audio. Like a vibrating buzz. Dead air buzz. That's Nishanti's dog. Hi, dog. Come here, boy. Hi, um, dog. His name is Moti. Right. Moti. See ya. That's exactly how I treat dogs. <laughs> You're hungry again. Go get it. I'm just like, hey, dog. What's up? Alright, bye. <laughs> This is, um, a lovely place. Thank you. Not the biggest place, but fine for Moti and me. Oh, God. I don't know. Thanks again for helping choose. me out earlier. I'd probably be sleeping in a hotel tonight if it weren't for you. Oh, didn't you hear? The strike's over. Convenient. Really? <laughs> it only lasted a few hours, according to the report on the radio. I suppose that's irony. I suppose so. It's just unfortunate, really. So, you play the flute, huh? Yes, I play the flute. It's called a bansuri. What about you? Do you play an instrument? Me? No, I can hardly play the kazoo. Let's see. You strike me as being creatively inclined. Are you a painter? A writer? Well, I'm trying to be a writer. I knew it. Anything published? Nothing really, aside from book reviews in the Village Eye. Village Eye? You mean that little paper they sell at the stand? You've read it? I've seen it around, but I've never actually read it. Perhaps I will the next time I see it. Okay. That nice dog. Is dog. Moti. He's spoiled rotten, but he's good company. He's taken quite a shine to you, that's for sure. Huh. Yeah. Usually I'm not good with animals. You never had a childhood pet? A pet? No, I had a teddy bear. <laughs> well, you probably had the right idea. Moti's a little thing, but you wouldn't know it from the amount he eats. He's very active, it seems. Yes, that probably explains it. See that box of biscuits? I buy a new one every two days. Moti doesn't have a stomach. He has a black hole that sucks in food. Feel free to give him one if you like. Yeah, friend to dogs. Could I try feeding the dog? Sure, here, take one. I have plenty. Go ahead and feed him. He's always hungry. You have a very nice apartment. Thank you. A bit small, but that's New York for you. You seem very friendly with the people in this building. Well, I didn't grow up here. I didn't realize it was taboo to chat with neighbors. Well, it's not taboo exactly, it's just... Oh, I know, just one of those unspoken things. I've found that most people are pretty friendly, though, once you take the first step. People have their defenses up most of the time. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, I do. This music is weird, like the beat of it is strange. Why do you play the flute in the park? It's a place to go, I suppose. I was walking there one day and I had the bansuri with me, so I started playing. Next thing I knew, I had a bunch of people around me. So I go there as often as I can now. It gets me out of this stuffy apartment, and I admit I like the attention. Plus, Moti loves the dog run there. Well, he did until they closed it down. We'll defend you, Moti. We'll fix it for you, Moti. Why did they close down the dog run? It seemed okay to me. Nobody really knows. It started about a week ago. Dogs started howling, running around like maniacs, acting strange. Some even hurled themselves at the fence door trying to get out. They say it's some kind of high frequency wave that's caused by electric cables or something. Some high-pitched sound that the dogs can hear but we can't. But I know better. You it's ghosts! Know better. Definitely. I noticed these things. I could tell that things weren't quite right. Something in the air. It's not a high-pitched noise. That would only cause a dog pain. This was more than pain. The dogs were scared. What was there to be scared of? I have no idea, but I know what I sensed, just like you did. Me? You sensed it. Don't think I didn't notice. I didn't sense anything. Well, perhaps. Maybe I'm just spouting nonsense. Well, I'd better go. All right. Take care, Rosa. Come back whenever you'd like. Raid your kitchen, lady. 
Oh, doggy following me. Hi, doggy. Get where I can actually see the dog. All right, but this is the last one. Go get it. Hey, boy. Yeah, treat time. Um, what do I do now? Just say, go get it. He'll do the rest. Go get it. See ya. <laughs> See ya. Bye, dog. <laughs> exactly how I act around dogs. Uh, okay, bye, dog. Hi, dog. Someone said something about going to a window in my kitchen, but I didn't think I could go into my kitchen. What is happening? It's gone. The pain. It's gone. That was strange. It was like... Like... What is that? The photo. Something is different about it. I almost don't want to look, but... Oh, no. No, MRA no. hitting on my aunt. I did not just see that. I am not going crazy. No, it's just the stress, that's all. Auntie's death, work, life. I just need a rest, that's all. Shouldn't walk right into it. A ghost gonna slap you. Hello, bright eyes. <laughs> what is this murdered soul Why suspect? Do always do that. Fedora ghost. Got an achievement called Hello Joey. So Griff, long time no see. Those tricks. Right, thought as much. I am Black Will Danes. I am always really annoyed sleeping. that he doesn't have You're an accent. Always sleeping and I'm always watching. Black Will yep, Dames. That's me. The eternal chump. The eternal mm. chump. Like I want him to sound like it's that. It's about time. Hey, nap time, Nelly. Wake up. What? <clears throat> Shall we try this again? <laughs> Directly no. into the mic. <laughs> that's not very polite. Go away. Puff I'm into the I mic. Can't do that, darling. <laughs> Believe me, I've tried. No, you don't exist. Oh, yes, I do. Look at me. This is not happening. This is not happening. Oh, brother. I am not going insane. There is nothing there. Could you? No. I am not my aunt. I am not my grandmother. I am not going to end up like that. Listen. Get out of my head. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Could you? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. No, you shut up. You're gonna listen. <laughs> no, You're yeah. Gonna listen good. No, I've been yeah. I've watching you all day, sweetheart. You know who I am. No. Yes. I'm not going away, so there'd be no point in beating around the bush. Now say my name. No. Damn say my you. name. You say my, my name. name. Now say it. You're. Yes. You're Joey. Good girl. You got it in one. Now turn around and look at me. I oh, I can hear his lips smacking. Ugh. I won't bite. Couldn't even if I wanted to. Hi there. <laughs> um. Um. All right. You really exist. Oh yes, live and in person. Although I'm not really alive, and I'm not sure if I can still call myself a person anymore. So who are you? Oh, that's what I say. I'm Joe Malone, <laughs> and I'm the family spirit guide. I wish it was Joey Maloney. <laughs> Think of me as the Blackwell legacy, darling. I'm passed down from one generation to the next, like a family heirloom. Think First of it, it as the Zyborn clock, wrong. darling. And now you. Where did you come from? That's a long, long story, dollface. And we've got more important things to do. Why have you been haunting my family? Haunting? Is that what I'm doing? That's usually what That's ghosts a do. <laughs> Answer me, why are you here? You got me, sweetheart. 
I've been wondering why me and why your family since this whole gig started. Must be some kind of gift your family has. A gift? You're a medium. A medium with a direct connection with the spirit world. And I, my dear, have the- My dear, my darling, my dear. doll face. I don't... I don't understand any of this. Oh, you will, babe, you will. It took your aunt a while, but she got the hang of it. Your grandmother never really caught on. That's probably why... Why what? Why she didn't last long. <laughs> that's something we can talk about later. Why she didn't last long. Felt something? Yeah. You felt sick to your stomach. I saw you. I've been feeling sick all day. And where did it start? You mean the dog run? Yeah. That's where we've got to go. What? Right now? Yep. The sooner the better. But it's the middle of the night. So you've just had a nice nap. You should be ready for action. I'm not going out to Washington Square Park in the middle of the night. Well, that's where you're wrong. If there's any reason behind this medium business, it's to take care of problems like your dog park. And we have to take care of them soon. Oh, God. Nobody pronounces dog correctly? Like, everyone's supposed to be a New Yorker. And even, like, like this guy's supposed to be a New Yorker, right? Like, a gangster guy? Nobody's saying dog in the accent, the New York accent, which is dog. Nobody's saying dog park. It's like, that's just what it is here. Dogs. <laughs> And everyone's like, dog, dog, dog. Whiny response, because that's me, man. You gotta go right now? Yes. Uh, What's the hurry? Let me put it another way. I don't want to. I don't want to end up like your aunt and grandmother. Was that because of you? Did you do that? Not me, kid, not me. I didn't make him that way, and I don't know what did. But do you really want to sit around here and find out? Hey, cool it with the threats. Fine. Let's go. That's the spirit. Heh. The spirit. Heh. After you. That was strange. Everybody just ignored you. Am I the only one who can see you? You're smart, dog. Real me. smart. So keep your voice low. Oh, yeah. This is the spot. <laughs> can you see it? I don't see anything. Can we go? Come on. This, this is way. where I got killed. I was hey, jerking wait. off in the bushes over there. Someone shot me. It's great. Never forget it. Don't worry, I can't travel far from you. It goes against the rules. Whatever they are. Now look inside there, and look close. What am I supposed to see? Just wait. It'll come. He gives her a wedgie. <laughs> oh no, there's a big clock wait, over her. <laughs> I see something. Who is that? That's what we're here to find out. I'll talk to the spook. You can stay here. Okay. Hey, Dame, you got legs for miles, and by miles, I mean inches. Where'd your legs go, Dame? So down, beautiful. Ah, I'm a bit out of practice. How should I handle this? Uh, your thighs are fat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dollface, you should smile more. You'd be prettier if you smiled for me. This is just a regular night in Washington Square Park. Be firm, be glib. I don't fucking know. Hey, buck up. Holy <laughs> death. The worst part's <laughs> over. Hey. Hey, lady. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's, uh... Let's wake the chum. Leaving so soon? Yeah. I we were getting along. They all run. It's so hard to hold on. It's me. It's me, they won't stop. Hey, girly, how come you got an echo on your voice and I don't? That's weird. I mean, I'm all ghostly and shit too, but I ain't got no echo on my voice. We're here to help you. Help? Yeah, that's us. We're helpers. Help. Help. He wants me to help him. But I want to help them. Don't they know that? Help who? Can't. Can't. They run away. We won't run away. No. No, no, we're, we're sick. sick. He, poisoned he poisoned us. us. Got, Got into our, our head, head and poisoned us. us. Whatever happened, darling, it's over. You do know that, don't you? No. I'm poisoned. Stay away or I'll poison you. Run. Run away like all the others. Chime around of me, crazy dame. 
What you talking about, pretty girl like you? Calm, calm your titties. Not a chance. I'm staying right here. You're... You're him. He's the only one who won't go away. Who? Him! Now look, darling, sweetheart. Leave me. Shortcake. Hey. Leave. Sweet buns. All right. We're going. Look, just sit tight. We'll figure this out. And we'll be back. Jeez, what a bitch. Friggin' ghosts. Friggin' okay, bitch. Straightforward answer out of any of them. What just happened? What just happened? Tried to charm her and she was mean to me. On what a whore. Haunting that dog park over there. You wondered why the mutts don't like it here? That's the reason. There's a ghost haunting the dog park. That's what I said. A ghost. Sure. Well, we should make a ghost park. I, here? I told you. Mm. No. No. I really should go to bed. Hey, wait a sec. Yeah, sleep. I shouldn't be here. Oh, for the love of Pete. Pete. Can't believe that dame didn't fall for my fedora charm. Uh, what an odd dream. Hey, Gabagool, I'm still here in your apartment. What's up? Good morning, bright eyes. Uh, uh. You're still here. Wouldn't be anywhere else. Hey, anybody told you that you snore? You're out of Pop Tarts, by the way. <laughs> if it bothers you so much, you can always leave. I wish I could, dear. I told you I couldn't leave even if I wanted to. His head so is too small to for his head. From now on. Pretty much, yeah. You're going to follow me around for the rest of my life. That's how it works, as far as I can tell. Great, just great. Hey, it ain't all a bed of roses for me either, dollface. You think I chose to be shackled to your family for the last forty years? Your grandmother refused to accept it, and look what happened to her. And auntie? She made a mistake. What kind of mistake? Hey, what is this? Twenty questions. She got up in my face. I slapped her one with my ghost hand. I made her crazy. I have a right to know. No, <laughs> you want to know. There's a difference. I don't have to tell you, squat. Look, this isn't easy, you know. You're a ghost. Fine. I'm a medium. Fine. My whole life is turned upside down. Fine. But you could at least meet me halfway. You've accepted it, you say? So far, yes. You've only seen a taste of it. Are you ready to go all the way? What do you mean? Ready to see. He just shoves his fedora in her mouth. Taste ready it! Taste the ghost fedora! <laughs> I'll, I'm choosing incredulous because it's one of my favorite words. There's more? Oh, yes. I so can show you the world. I don't have to tell you. It's best if I show you. Shining, shimmering, ghostly. Here, take a hold of this. I can touch it? Yeah, the only part of me you can touch. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Oh my god! <laughs> he said it! What is it? The stuff of life. No or ghost hand jobs, the same blo ghostbusters. Now? now you pull. Pull the tie? Yeah, pull. Okay. <laughs> well, this is the weirdest. Hand job I've ever given easily. Oh my god, where have you taken me? Relax, take your time. It's a lot to take in at once. What is this place? It's the doorway to infinity, darling. <laughs> the Zyboy Clock. In the distance, <laughs> the next world. I just keep hearing it every time I hear darling. The gossamer threads that separate this world from the next, whatever you want to call it. The gas of my threads that we hold here? this world to the we're next, you know? <laughs> you mean I'm dreaming? No, I mean we're literally inside your head. Remember those headaches you had yesterday? Yeah. That was your power awakening. Or to be more specific, it was this place. Forcing its way into your mind. <laughs> so what does that mean? It means that you've got a spiritual way station in your head. I'm not sure I like this. Well, like it or not, we're here. So what does this place actually do? It's sort of a transfer point or node 
It connects the mortal world with the next. You bring spirits into this place, and then send them on their merry way. Why is there rave music in my head? A bit more to it than that. I thought as much. You see, many ghosts aren't as lucid as myself. Most can barely tell you their own names, let alone tell you what's wrong. Near as I can figure, they have to come to terms with their... departure. Before they can actually depart. You dig me so far? I dig it. I think so. The ghosts don't know they're dead. Yeah, yeah, right. So, we have to help them accept it. Once they accept their death, they are much more willing to move on. That's my job, see? I talk to the spooks. They trust me more because I'm one of them. So this really is murdered soul suspect. Okay. Anyway, I know you have some questions about this place, so go ahead and ask them. Why did murdered soul suspect steal this game's story? I asked him about the tie. What was that? You're wearing your tie again. How did that happen? Not sure. Near as your aunt and me figured, the tie is just an extension of whatever power brought us here. It's not a real physical tie. No more than I am a real physical person. But that makes no sense. Look, just accept it, dollface. Forget logic. For you, logic went out the window the day I appeared in your bedroom. There ain't no instruction. Why is his hat so this. small? <laughs> your aunt and me just figured it out as we went along. It looks like, almost like he's wearing a, like a Canadian Mountie hat because it's like a little too tiny to be a fedora. Drawn a little strangely. What about that ghost in the park? The one from last night? Why didn't we bring her here? First of all, I didn't think you were ready. And secondly, that ghost was too lost and confused. When a ghost is like that, I can't just force the tie into their hands. It won't work, don't ask me why. They have to know they're dead first. Your aunt called it, uh, being spiritually ready. So, uh, what's your status, Joey? You single? You married man? Uh, what's going on? What about you? Can you go through that hole and move on? I wish, darling. But I can't. I've tried before, but it just spits me back out. I'm stuck here, whether I like it or not. <laughs> this fucking music is so crazy for this. Are you okay, Joey? <sighs> Me? I'm dandy. You don't look alright. Uh, it's just this place. I don't like it. Probably because I don't belong. Maybe someday, but not now. I think I've learned enough. You sure? Yeah. Alright. Let's get out of here. Oh, but the, the, the drop almost happened. They almost dropped the bass in my head. <laughs> Every time she faints, she like hits her head on something, wakes up in a puddle so, of blood. Disorientating. I'm fine. So disorientating? Go back to the park disorienting? and to that place? You got it. And how do we do that? There are three steps. First, we have to find out more about her. Second, we use that information to get through to her, convince her that she's dead. And three, help her move on. How do we find out more about her? She could be anybody. Not necessarily. That picture you got, the one of the three girls? That blonde girl is either the ghost in the park or her twin sister. You sure? She's a dead ringer. No pun intended. I'm just kidding. Pun totally intended. I'm a ghost! Bada boom! The blonde girl is dead. Looks like it. And this other girl, Joanne. She's dead, too. Yep. What's going on? That, my dear, is our bread and butter. Is a What can we do to learn more about the ghost in the park? The photo, dear. It's the biggest clue we have. What else can we do to learn more about the ghost in the park? The photo, dear. It's the biggest clue. Mm -hmm. How do we convince ghosts that they're actually dead? That's the tricky part. Near as I can figure, we need to remind the ghosts who they are. Hey, you're dead! Their death was too traumatic, or hey, too buddy. violent, or too you're emotional dead. that their little spirit minds snapped. So we need to do whatever we can to bring them back to themselves. And how do we do that? Usually by finding something that has a personal significance to them. It could be an object, a piece of information, or even another person. So we need to know more about the ghost in the park. You're a writer, yeah? Think of this as the ultimate character study. <laughs> This music has like this gulping, swallowing noise in it. How do we help a ghost move on? 
With my magic tie, dear, I give one end to the spook, the other end to you. You pull the ghost in, and you send them on their way. You don't come in with me? No, sorry. That's your job. Alright. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get going. <laughs> Just ask them to look at their feet. <laughs> that's that's how you do it. They'll be like, oh snap, I don't got no feet. <laughs> Shit, I must be a ghost. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> hey girl, this might sound crazy, but you're a ghost. Don't believe me? Look down. Where your feet at? Boom! Solved your problems. Oh no, it's daytime. We can't just convince the ghost in the day. Oh wait, she's right there. I don't want to, but I guess we should talk to the ghost again. Don't worry. I'll do the talking. You'll just look like a crazy broad. Hey there. Remember me? Hey. No, maybe. Hey. Just look down. <laughs> Uh, go easy on Can you her. tell me the last <laughs> thing you remember? Candy. I was eating candy. Candy? Candy to make the deacon go away. Ah, I think I understand. I don't. Did it work? Deacon. I don't hear him anymore, but he did something to me. He'll go away. Hey, dollface, come here. Hey. Hold up that picture you got. Do you recognize the girls in this picture? Oh, it's so hard to see. Maybe I need glasses. Hmm. Worth a try. Hey, gotta find this lady's glasses! Are you friends with a girl named Joanne? 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 Beware of Joanne when her plans unfurled, for she intends to take over the world. She had to go away. He drove her away. She didn't understand. Do you know why Joanne killed herself? Joanne? She can't be dead. She's going to change the world. She's not dead. Even though she had to go away. They all had to go away because of the deacon. Can you tell me who the deacon is? The deacon is the deacon. We called him and he came. He got into my head. He's scared. He's diseased. He's made me diseased too. Mm -hmm. Now everyone goes away. How about Adrian? Do you know him? Adrian the man. The man with the plan. Do you know Kelly? Kelly, Kelly, crazy Kelly, made of ice jelly. We all drove her away. <laughs> so that was bad okay. rhyme. It wasn't the deacon's fault. It was hers. Meow. All right. Well, just sit tight. We'll figure this out. Find our ghost glasses. And we'll be back. Gotta find some dead glasses somewhere. That place is creepy. What? You don't like dogs? You know what I mean. Um. Nobody's wearing glasses. Gotta get our ghost contacts, maybe. Why are there so many seagull noises in Washington Square Park? Too expensive to get pigeon noises? Hmm? Hi, it's me again. You have more questions, <gasps> I imagine? More questions? Yeah. Is that okay? I suppose so. What, are what do you questions? want questions? Does the word deacon mean anything to you? Deacon? No, I'm afraid not. Alright, well, bye. All. Thanks for help. Just. Oops, I didn't mean to click that door. I just wanted to There's no mosey to Kelly's door. Yo, it's open! <laughs> Yo! You. Yo, it's open! Yeah? I'm not taking Kelly. She's covered her wall with rock posters.
The future Mrs. Davenport? I wonder what that means. I recognize her. That's Joanne. That's her, the ghost in the park. She looks so happy here. I wonder what happened to make her like that. Cannot? No. Joanne and I might not have been buddies, but I'll be damned if I'm gonna let some stranger paw through her stuff. There's a notebook on Joe. It's just a telephone. I'm not get. It's the only bed in the room. I guess Kelly got rid of the other bed after Joanne left. Why was that one so much uh, softer sounding? That's Kelly. She gives me the creeps. <laughs> you know a ghost. Could I ask you some follow-up questions, Kelly? <sighs> Fine. Make it quick. Thanks again for lending me that photograph. No big deal. It was just sitting there on her desk. How are you holding up? I'm fine. Midterms are a bitch, but I'm handling it. Or I would be handling it if you didn't keep bugging me. Can I take a look around? What for? Just to see if I can what find for? anything else about Joanne. What? You're a detective now? Well... Forget it. Please let me look around. It would really help me out. I've helped you out enough. You can ask your stupid questions, but you touch nothing. Does the name Deacon mean anything to you? Nope. I'm agnostic. Do you know anyone named Davenport? No, but it's a stupid name. <laughs> it's written right over here on Joanne's bulletin board. You think I care what she does? I mean, what she did? I mean, I don't know anyone with that name. Sorry. Sorry! Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Thanks again, Kelly. Whatever. Oh, wait. Exit. Yeah, there it is. Thank God that's over. Over? What do you mean? We got what we came for, didn't we? What exactly do we know? Well... Exactly. That'll get us far. We gotta get back in there and search for more clues. I wanna show the picture to the, the guy. I don't know if I can show things to people. Cause like, he's behind a door. Mm -hmm. Hi, it's me again. Smile. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah. I said, what do you- More questions. Thanks, anyway. Davenport? <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> anyway. Davenport? Davenport? <laughs> Thanks, anyway. <laughs> well, that's all. Thanks for- Just remember- Thanks, anyway. Davenport? There's a question, that's girls in the photo? I thought I asked him that already. Hi. You have one? Yeah. I said, what do you- Do you recognize the girls in this photo? Hmm. Well, that's Joanne. They're on the left. And the other two? I definitely recognize them. They were friends of Joanne. They were up here all the time, but I never spoke to them. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping. Just I should save again. And it's probably glasses or something that I missed. Uh, don't hit the door. There Yeah, open! After you. Yeah? Can I use your phone? Do what? It'll only take a second. Fine, fine. Just hurry up. Who do you think you're calling? The Ghostbusters. <laughs> um, obviously I don't Thanks know. Again, Kelly. Yeah, sure. Uh. Can I? No. Joe, but I oh, but the ba ba. Glasses. Oh, Can talk to Joey while like on the me? phone. It'll only t Hello, could I speak to Joey, please? Hi, Joey? Um... Yes, I had some questions for you. Mm. Ah! <laughs> not bad, ah. Yeah, not bad. If you got something to say, say it quick. 
Lady Pincushion here is starting to look a little hot under the collar. Ah. Joey, can you do something about that little bird who is watching me? Huh? You mean Metal Nose? Yes, she's making me nervous. Me? What can I do? I don't know, you're ghosts. Like, put some fan on or something, blow her papers everywhere. Joey, I'm not sure I can do what you ask me to do. This is stupid. Kid, you have to. Don't back out now. Yes, hello. Could you tell me what I'm supposed to do now, please? Do? Look around, check for clues. We need all the information we can get our hands on. Thank you, Joey. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Thanks again, Kate. Crazy dame. Yeah, sure. Alright. I don't think there's anything I haven't clicked. Oh, the window. safety bars on the window prevent oh. me from opening it. The window has safety bars on it. I guess that's kind of ironic in a morbid kind of way. Not really. I don't... <laughs> she thinks a lot of things are ironic. Well, we got the photo from her. I don't think she's gonna. Make a. I don't think she's gonna care about the girls in the photo because she gave us that photo, right? Could you tell me about the other two girls in the photo? Oh, them. You know them uh -huh. only through Joanne. Do you know their names? Blonde girl is Allie. Oh, uh, thank, thank you. Helpful. And the Asian girl, she's Susan. Tried to avoid them when they were here. Really? Why? Look, I need my space. Joanne needed her friends around her. So whenever Joanne turned this place into Social Central, I had to split. They didn't care for me, and I didn't much care for them. Do you know anything about Joanne's friend, Allie? You mean Miss Blondie? Yeah. I know enough, which isn't much. She was over here all the time visiting Joanne. She was kind of sweet, I guess. Laughed all the time. Ugh, oh, that was annoying. So it was usually my cue to get out of here. What do you want to know about her? I'm having difficulty finding her. Would you know where she is? I don't know. She could be anywhere. Studying, partying, pushing up daisies. Shh. Huh? Nothing. Right. Right. I don't suppose you know anything about Susan. Not much. Quiet, I guess. Maybe she just didn't talk around me. I never stuck around long enough to get to know her. Right. Thanks for help. Yeah, sure. Thanks Bye. again, Bye. Bye. Talk to the guy now that we know about Did you Allie. See the metal on that girl's yap. How does she brush her teeth? Same way as everybody else, I guess. Wouldn't it rust? Ugh. Imagine kissing a girl with rust breath. God, the end of that was like all wind over the mic. Rust breath. <laughs> hmm? Hi, it- You ha- Yeah. I said, what? Ellie. Do you know anything about Joanne's friend? I'm afraid not. Who is Allie? She's... Alright. Alright. Did you ever meet jo The name doesn't ring a bell. Oh, well dang. <laughs> uh, well, that's all. Thanks, Rick. Just remember... Uh, you know her name. Is that enough to leave? Or is my friend gonna sass me? Nah. Talk to that ghost again, Joey. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. There. Remember me? No. Young lady, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but you're dead. You're dead. It's so, so quiet. It, it, Sorry, so broad. You're are dead. You listening to me? They all go away. The deacon made them go away. Listen, you don't have to. Whatever it is, just. Let he haunts my dreams. He gets into my head. He poisons me. He's but you're... Oh, forget it. Is your name Allie? Yes, that's me. Allie Montego, story and song. She kisses the boys, but not for long. What? Cute. Well, Allie Montego. At least we've confirmed who you are. We should tell the cops you're dead! Can you tell me about your friend Susan? Quiet Sue. Little Lady Lee. Always neat and always fair. Won't say much, but you'll know she's there. Lady... Lee? She had to go away. Stupid deacon. Sending away all my friends. 
even the little little ones. Mm, Davenport. Do you know anyone <laughs> named Davenport? No. Maybe. Ugh, that doesn't help me. Um. Can you tell me anything else about Kelly? Kelly, Kelly. No. I already asked about Kelly. Look, just... We'll figure... <sighs> you alright? This is gonna take a long time to get used to. We got the rest of your life, doll. Yeah, and murdered soul suspect. These took five minutes! I don't think I missed anything in her room. Hey, it's all after. Yeah. Is there anything in your room I can use for my murder investigation, Kelly? There's a notebook on Joe. I just want to take it. Let me take it. Cannot no Joe but I'll Can I use again it all Hello, could I Hi, thank you. I'll talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Thanks thank again, you. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Press tab. Tab doesn't do anything. I'm not getting into Kelly's bed. Tab does literally nothing. Um could combine these things. Oh yeah, maybe I can research on my computer. That seems better than just guessing which two things go uh, together. What do you I'm we'll try. Try a bit harder. Ali Montego. Let's see if I can find her. Hmm. She apparently spent some time on a spiritual internet forum. She was looking for information about Ouija boards? Are Ouija boards dangerous? <laughs> she asked. Can they call anything evil? And if so, how do you get rid of it? Mm hmm. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Another bunch of hacks messing with those stupid boards. This has happened before? A few times. Those things are nothing but trouble. Luigi boards. <laughs> Alright, that's what the deacon and the Ouija board is. Lee is a pretty common name, but it should narrow things down. I think I got her. Susan Lee, 18 years old, was admitted to Bellevue Hospital last week after an apparent suicide attempt. I think that's our girl. Oh, she sees at Bellevue. The girls were interested in Ouija boards. And they are all haunted by someone named the Deacon. Could there be a connection? Oh! oh! Boop! 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 <laughs> We're haunted by Adventure Game Studio crashing. Ah! <laughs> uh, dum dum dum. Yeah, I need to not write, overwrite the autosave. <laughs> Let's just load the autosave. Literally, I didn't know when it autosaved because there was no autosaving icon or anything that I've noticed, at least. Is there an autosave icon? It autosaves when you go to the map. Alright. Does anything tell me that or... Like, did I miss that information? It's trying to load. It's trying to launch. It's trying very hard. I should I should have read the error screen in my New York gangster accent. All right, let's let's retry that. It's not loading. 
Let's try it again. There it goes. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Load autosave. Um, let's see what I recently found out. I didn't find out the thing yet. Okay. Ali Monte, let's see. Shoot all can open up this a few. Oops. Lee is a pretty. There are so many sites about this, and they all contradict each other. Luigi boards. There's no way to really tell fact from fiction. Okay. There we are. You coming? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. He always sounds like he's laughing when he says that. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I'm coming. <laughs> it's rich. Are you coming? Ugh. Let's see if she's at Bellevue. I was stuck here for 25 years. Oh. Why'd you have to drag me back here, huh? Is Susan Lee a patient here? Susan? Yeah, we've got her. She came in about a week ago. About a week ago. May I visit Susan Lee? Sure. If you're on the approved guest list. Oops. What was your name again? Rosangela Blackwell. Sorry, Rosangela Lee. We've got in a week. You can visit her then. All right. Thanks. Uh huh. Never mind. <laughs> Should I talk to the doctor while I'm here? Is he really gonna tell me anything? I'm here to s go right. Come in. Doctor Quentin. Oh, hello. I see you've got that ghost with you. Did my aunt and grandmother ever say anything specific about Joey? No. Why? Oh, no, I... I was just wondering. Oh, real subtle. Dr. Quentin, I've got something to tell you. Hmm? Yes? It's about Joey. Oh. Oh, no. Hmm? Don't you dare. Yeah. Darling, you seem like a sweet kid. Don't ruin everything this early in the game. I, um... Hey! Whatever you think you're doing, stop right now. Hey. You say one word to this quack about me and the jig is up. He... Are you listening? I just spent 25 years in this dump. I'm not gassed up to do it again, you dig? You want to be locked up in a padded cell with me for company? Because that's what'll happen. I will haunt the and shit I'm out of you. Sure your life is a living hell. Um. You're basically my hostage. Shh. Yes, Miss Blackwell? Never mind. Good girl. Keep your yap shut and we'll get on just fine. <laughs> Am I supposed to be a good guy? I don't know. Do you know anything about headaches? It's hardly my specialty. I've been getting them. Lots of them. In your case, I'd say they were- Are they usually this bad? Check your best dress. Over-the-counter pain medication. Thanks. Alright. I guess I'll head out. Very well. Bye. <laughs> I'll make your life a living hell if you don't do what I say. I'm your best friend, gangster ghost. Oh, where the goddamn hell was I going? Ugh. Uh. Go to the apartment and talk to Joey. Yeah, this would be way better if this was Tupac instead of Joey. Joey! Psst, what? What do you want, sweetheart? S about ghosts. So, Joey, what are ghosts? Why are ghosts? Is there a god, Joey? Oh my god. History, whatever. Joey. Can't you stay still? Huh? The way you float all over the room like that, you're making me dizzy. 
You sound like my mother. You're just gonna have to get used to it, babe. It's like a snake noise. How did you die? Excuse me? How did I die? Yeah. That's a bit of a personal question, isn't it? Is it? Yes! Sorry. Oh, I think it's relevant. So what can you actually do? Do? As a ghost. Nothing, I just threaten you! Anything like that? What you see is what you get, dear. I can float through walls as long as I'm still near you. But you can't touch anything. Not really. Not really? Well, you remember that breeze you felt when I manifested myself last night? Yeah. That's the extent of my physical presence. Breezes. Wow. Ghosts sure are powerful. Neat trick, huh? Not really. Everyone's a critic. Wow. This kinda blows to be a ghost! Do you know anything about Ouija boards? Those things are nothing but trouble. Any idea who the deacon might- No idea. Although, he must be a pretty formidable fellow. Alright, whatever. I think I've- Yeah. Now I know that he can wiggle- <laughs> He can wiggle curtains. <laughs> okay. You come- Yeah. Wiggling curtains. <laughs> I'm a powerful guy. Oh my god, this music is so weird. Yeah. Hey man, wiggle these curtains, Jojo. Can I use your phone? It'll only Hello, could I speak to- Hi! You performed a little trick for me earlier. I'd like you to repeat it for me. Trick? Joey, do you see the pile of papers on the desk? Yeah? I need you to work your magic on them. Uh... Sure, sure, I can handle that. Ah! Thanks again, Kelly. Yeah. Can I? No, Joe, but I'll be. Do it again, Joey. Multiple times. That was not long enough to do anything. Could I make a qu Thanks again. Whatever. Can I use your. I it'll. Hello? Could I. Hi. Joey. I'm... Thanks again. Yeah. Take it, take nice it. This one. Looks like standard poli sci lecture notes. I shouldn't like have stolen like it. <laughs> the last set of notes in this notebook are pretty strange. I'd better take a closer look. <laughs> How old was she? 18 and she draws like this. Alexander, eh? He looks pretty cool. Look how cool that guy looks. Look, he's got glasses, man! He's like, glasses-wearing snowman head guy. I'll be able to- I'll be able to identify him based on this, uh, witness sketch of, uh, Alexander. She's still dotting her eyes with hearts <laughs> when she's writing, like, a fucking, like, Desperate suicide note. Harding my eyes. Allison is gone, hearts. Alright. Oh, I'm pretty hungry. I think I might quit streaming now because it's been two hours. That's the usual length, generally. So, I think I will call it a stream. Plus, I'm not really sure what to do right now. Anywho, any dang way, I'll think about it more. And by the time I get back here, I'll know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh my god, all those dotted eyes. Yes, I should save my game, thanks. <laughs> Good idea, Catharis. 
Let's stretch. Yeah, I should eat so I don't turn to a ghost who can't even do anything. At least, like, the guy from Soul Suspect can, like, manipulate more items than, than this... this gabagool. <laughs> Okay, good night, people. <laughs>